I'd like to turn to a matter with which you're both familiar because it's a fairly recent law that Senator Ige, you voted for, and Governor Abercrombie, you allowed to become a law without your signature. The state has long had laws requiring legislators and many members of boards and commissions to file financial disclosure statements about their and often their families' finances with the State Ethics Commission. Some of those are kept confidential. Many more are public. If you go to the State Ethics Commission website, you can find 1,200 financial disclosure statements. But the new law requires members of, who are volunteers, volunteer members of boards and commissions to now have their financial disclosure statements made public because several board members have now resigned. There is a concern that our state may lose potentially good members of boards and commissions. So talk about 90 seconds, and let's start with Governor Abercrombie mm -hmm. on this. How do you balance the public's right to understand possible conflicts of interest with the individual's right to some privacy? 90 seconds, please. <laughs> well, you just gave an excellent uh, less than 90 second analysis. Okay, it's so let's you move strike on. A balance. No, it's, it's true, uh, Sherry, you did a good, good job with that. Um, uh, the whole question is, is how do you strike a balance between what is a reasonable uh, access to someone's private life, and this is being, you know, this is being uh, argued about and having to be addressed, everything from medical records to, to finances to, to uh, 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 government secrecy, uh, and, and whether records are going to be made available uh, on everything. Uh, and, the, and the right, the right to privacy, and and the right for the public not to have uh, fear of a conflict of interest. The difficulty here in this particular instance uh, is that the the rules got changed in the middle of the game for the existing members. I, I wish that that it had, the, the members had been grandfathered or grandmothered in uh, who were there because they didn't expect they they do file financial disclosure forms and it is vetted by the state state senate that the individual are uh, vetted by the state senate and vetted by the, the uh, ethics commission uh, itself. So it's not that there's anything secret or it hasn't become known. So that's what the di that's what the difficulty is. Is how do you strike the balance between the uh, 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 right to not have uh, conflicts of interest and and the right to privacy, um, uh, and we'll deal with it accordingly. Uh, it is a legislative will that uh, that we do this. Thank you. And, uh, Thank and you, we'll Governor. act accordingly. Senator, legislature passed the law. Going forward, how do you balance these two seemingly in conflict issues? Um, as the legislature was dealing with this issue, uh, we were selective about what boards we would apply this new di financial disclosure um, requirement to. A and we focused on those boards that were more than advisory, the boards that took action uh, and made decisions that had a significant financial impact. Uh, and those are the boards that we uh, required financial disclosure. Uh, it always is a balance. The financial disclosures that are uh, required to be filed uh, do not provide explicit information in all instances. It does identify uh, sources of, of income and investment and business uh, engagement uh, within ranges. Um, so there is an attempt to try and balance the public's right to know. I think the, the testimony before the legislature focused on the fact that uh, the State Ethics Commission uh, was failing in their efforts to try to uh, avoid conflicts of interest and, and the best antidote to that was really uh, public disclosure and allowing the public to monitor. Uh, as, as Governor said, it is, a, is it a delicate balance and we'll have to see what the impact of the new law is on filling boards and commissions on a going forward basis. 30 seconds more on this. Senator Ige, do you see this as needing a relook in the next legislative session? No, I don't think we need to relook at it in the next session, and we'll see uh, what the impact is. I think, you know, there are lots of good uh, people who want to participate on boards and commissions, and uh, I'm confident that we will be able to find those that want to volunteer and would be willing to disclose their financials. Governor, do you think this needs a relook? 30 seconds only. 
Well, I, I think you always need to take a look at the form. What what is actually required? That that's just a reasonable thing to do. Is are the uh, the boundaries that are set on on the form that you have to submit? Is is that reasonable? That's worth taking a look at. You don't have to have pass a law in order to do that. The ethics commission can do that. This isn't so much a question of who does apply. This is a question of who won't apply now. And that's a very difficult thing to prove because I, I, none of us can say that we'd have gotten someone better when we don't know whether they apply in the first place because of the new law. That's where the difficulty is. Thank you.